Hello, my name is Gabrielle and my partner is Roxy. And together, we would like to proudly showcase our final project website for ITM 445, Rocky's World. To start off, on the homepage is a light beige with black text. There is a logo on the left top side of the page and is a white circle with a cartoon yellow dog with shaded stars around the dog and Rocky's World written on the top with a star separating the words. Next to the logo is the text Rocky's World written in large text. On the, to the top of the page from the left to the right, there is a search bar and the navigation menu, which reads bio, Rocky's travel destinations, Rocky's travel tips, and the contact us. Underneath the logo, scrolling down, we have a picture of Rocky at the beach with his mom in Mexico. The picture shows the beautiful shaded blue water of Cancun and Rocky relaxing on the beach wearing shades and ducky floaties with his tanned mom next to him in a black bathing suit. Next to, next to the picture, there is a short bio which tells visitors that Rocky is two years old and caught the traveling bug while visiting Mexico. Underneath the picture of Mexico, there is a picture of Rocky riding a gondola in the beautiful area of Venice, wearing a hat with a red bow and enjoying a plate of pasta and a glass of red wine. On the right side of the page, underneath the bio, there is an interactive component of a poll which asks where should Rocky travel next, which is either Hawaii or Brazil. Underneath the poll, scrolling down, is a social bar offering fans the chance to follow on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. As you may notice, we have made changes that was suggested on our work in progress feedback report, which is changing the theme of our website to a color that closely resembles the star of the show, the one and only famous Labradoodle Rocky. We also eliminated some text for a cleaner appearance as well as making both the pictures clickable. As you can see, clicking on a picture redirects it to the corresponding page with more details about the trip. We have also changed all the text to only one font throughout the site, as it had been a little difficult to read the fancier fonts. Moving to the second page, it has the logo and the title Rocky's Adventures and carries the same theme of beige and black. Below, there is a short paragraph which lets visitors know to check out some of his recent vlogs to China and Mexico. Right beside it are the videos showing him in those countries. For the sake of time, we won't be showing you the videos, but in the video number one, it shows Rocky visiting a Chinese garden and a gazebo. And in video number two, it shows Rocky enjoying the beach in Mexico. Underneath both videos is the text Recent Trips, and under them are three pictures of Rocky. The first picture shows Rocky in Paris on a beautiful blue sky day in front of the Eiffel Tower, and it shows him wearing a barrette and, pose, and posing with a baguette to enjoy later. Underneath the picture is text that contains a short description of his trip to Paris. Moving to the second picture is him is a homepage of Rocky in Venice on a gondola. Underneath the picture is a short description of Rocky's favorite things about Venice. And lastly, the third picture shows Rocky standing under the water gate in Mount Fuji in Japan, holding a black umbrella and the description of his time there. As you can see, under each description is also Rocky's ratings, which were 8.5 for Paris, 9 out of 10 for Venice, and 10 out of 10 for Mount Fuji. Under Rocky's travel destinations, we made some changes. We have added the logo to this page and other linked pages. We added a second video of Rocky's vlog to his trip to Cancun. Now we have two edited videos with the first one being his trip to China and the second showcasing him enjoying the beach. In the new video that was added, it contains an edited audio track created using Audacity. Both videos are accessible as they have captions and audio description. 
The first video has been edited since the work in progress to offer cleaner captions, an audio description track, and even some of Rocky's actual barks. However, we removed the narration and instead chose to have audio descriptions and their corresponding captions instead for a cleaner sound. Scrolling down, we have altered the rating scale to be more accurate. Initially, the ratings were in nonsensical as they were meant to showcase how excitable dogs are. Hence, the old ratings were showing higher than logical ratings like 12 out of 10. On the third page, it has Rocky's World logo on the top left of the page and Rocky's travel tips written in black text next to the logo. Underneath the logo are three pictures previously described from other pages including Paris, Venice, and Cancun. Underneath each picture is Rocky's main travel tip for each destination. The bottom, scrolling to the bottom of the page, we have incorporated a useful link, which is linked to the complete guide for traveling with your dog from the American Kennel Club webpage. Moving on to the Rockies Travel Tips page, some of the changes that we made were adding the logo and linking the useful links button to an actual Travel Tips website link for real tips on how to travel with your puppy comfortably. On the last and final page, we have our Contact Us page. It is of the same beige and black theme and has the text interested in collaborating with Rocky on the top of the page with the logo on the left hand side. Below, there is a Contact Us which contains a section for first name, last name, email, and message for a chance to collaborate with Rocky. Some of the changes that we made for the Contact Us page, we added the logo and we also fixed the color scheme for this part of the page. Throughout making our final website, we faced some problems. We had initially hoped to add an extra destination or two to the final completed project. However, it was hard to accomplish only because both our computers could not handle much of the creative suite. While it was enjoyable to learn these skills, it was quite time consuming as we had to delete and re-download all the applications a few times, which made it tedious to work with. Not to mention, several times, even that was difficult as the apps would lag and there would not be enough scratch disk space to work with. Another issue that was tricky was adding an audio description for the videos on the site, as the vlog of China was created previously for a lab and was only 30 seconds long, so there was not a lot of room to time the audio track between narration, so what we did is we had it overlap in the narration track and also with the vlog in Mexico, as that video has not only music but narration as well. This made for messier edits as there were a few audio tracks on each video, which is why we edited the video to remove the original narration and replace it with audio description and captions of the description, still making it accessible. Otherwise, this was a fun course and project that allowed us to use our creativity to complete our coursework. We hope you enjoyed Rocky's adventures.